Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the first in a series where I document my progress of going from not monetized to becoming a monetized channel. I decided that that is a goal that I want to pursue and I'll get a little bit more into that later in the video about why that's become my goal. But anyways, my goal is to monetize my channel. If you're not aware, the requirements for joining the YouTube Partner Program are 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within the last 365 days. As of right now, I have 452 subscribers and thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And I have 1,281 watch hours. So I am not yet monetized. I have a ways to go. Um, I need to more than double my subscriber count and nearly quadruple my watch hours. So back in about 2015, I posted my very first YouTube channel. At the time, I wasn't trying to become monetized. I created a documentary and I wanted to share it. So I posted it here on YouTube, but I wasn't trying to become monetized at the time or become a YouTuber. It wasn't my plan to continue posting videos, but around 2020 during the pandemic, I was at home and I needed a creative outlet. And so I turned to YouTube and at the time I was also into photography. So I started making videos about photography, related to photography, because that was what I was really into at the time and that's what I found interesting. I don't know if I want to continue to make YouTube videos about photography. I might going forward. I don't know what my niche is. I'm not picking a niche right now. I'm not focusing on any one topic. I'm really just trying to improve my skills create engaging content and learn and grow here on YouTube. So I'm also doing my makeup at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my sunscreen. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here and share this with you guys, but I'm also doing this as a way to hold myself accountable because I make a lot of excuses for why I can't make videos, why I don't have time to, you know, film or edit or even script video ideas. And part of the reason is I do have a full-time job and I do have a baby now. And that does take up a lot of my time. Both of those things combined. I also have a husband and a dog and family and friends and a full life. But I also want to find space for creativity and creating videos. It's a medium that I'm really drawn to. I, I'm also involved in acting and theater, so I like storytelling and I like entertaining and I really like sharing knowledge. So YouTube, it's kind of just like a natural, you know, space for me that I just generally feel drawn to as both a consumer and a creator. And I'm ready to stop making excuses for why I'm not putting content out and why I'm not making this a you know, part of my life, why I'm not dedicating more time to this. So that's part of why I'm creating this video is to hold myself accountable and to put it out there that this is a goal that I want to start working towards. I think that my goal is going to be to create two videos per week. One is going to be, I'm filming this on Sunday, um, today, the July 27th. So I'm filming this on July 27th and my goal is to do one of these style videos per week, just, you know, this, uh, my goal is to do one of these per week, each Sunday probably, to kind of recap how my week went, what I learned in, you know, trying to, so my goal is to do one of these videos per week, part of documenting my process and my progress here on YouTube. And I'm gonna share analytics and I'll be sharing you know, thoughts, things that I've learned, how I've had to maybe modify my time, like how I spend my time in order to find space in my life for YouTube and being a creator on here. So that's my plan for Sundays. And then in addition, I want to do a second video and it could be photography related. It could really be any kind of video. I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna hold myself to a specific niche because I'm just wanting to explore right now with different formats, different content, different topics, figure out what I really enjoy creating and what people are gonna be drawn to. And so I'm gonna experiment with different video types, different storytelling formats, 
different it's like video formats but i'm doing my makeup because i'm planning on filming a second video right after this so that's why i'm doing my makeup um, but i want to do a little bit more than normal because i don't wear much makeup anyways but because i'm going to be on camera i'd like to do a little bit more than i normally would I'm a little aggressive with my nose i do have rosacea and so it gets kind of red and I have to put on a lot of makeup in order to cover that up on camera usually. Anyways, so I think that's gonna be manageable. Like I'm gonna learn like how I have to adapt my style in order to do two videos a week. So this Sunday video is gonna be pretty simple, right? Like I'm just gonna talk to the camera, talk about the analytics and little bit of conversation around how the week went and my thoughts and my progress, answer any questions if I happen to get any questions. And then, so I think that's gonna be manageable because that's simple. There's not gonna be a whole lot of prep for these videos. But the second video of the week is probably going to require a little bit more prep work. I imagine, you know, some kind of scripting, coming up with ideas, topic ideas, um, scripting, filming. So, and then I'm planning on not editing my videos myself. I think I'm going to try to hire somebody to do that. I'll probably check Fiverr first. I actually do like the editing, but it's just so time consuming. I'm just, I'm not gonna have time for it. So I think I just have to accept that I'm not gonna be able to edit my own videos right now. And I'm going to hire somebody to do that. I'm gonna outsource it. And I think I could hire somebody on Fiverr for, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 bucks. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to learn. And then I'll share that on here. Like that's part of, that's the other thing. I just want to share like how I, how I find a way to do this while having like a full life and a full-time job and a family. I'm also trying to prove to myself that I can do it with all of those things. Like I said, I make a lot of excuses for why I can't, I think. And besides like that, like another big thing that holds me back is probably perfection perfectionism and really wanting my stuff to be to a specific like standard of quality that I believe I'm capable of with all of the right, you know, resources and the amount of time. But I just have to accept that I am not going to have all of the time and resources to put as much into these as I want. But the other thing is, I think that's just an excuse. I think telling myself, oh, I don't have time to make a good video is why I don't do it. But I don't know what, when I say that, I don't know like how much time I would actually need. I think that's no matter how much time I have available to me, I think that is probably always my excuse. If I have 10 hours, I'm probably going to feel like I don't have enough. So that's another reason I'm doing this is I'm just trying to hold myself accountable. Okay. I think that's enough. <laughs> I've put on enough makeup. So shout out to the YouTube channel Silver and Solo. She actually inspired me to make this video and to recommit to YouTube. She did a similar series to this. So that's where I got the idea of the two videos per week. And I like, I like documenting and storytelling. And so this kind of format really appeals to me. So anyways, check her channel out. I really enjoyed watching her videos. So I don't know if you can see these products, but I am not sponsored by any of them, obviously. Clearly nobody's sponsoring me yet, but I need a mirror to help me do my eyebrows so I can see what I'm doing. But anyways, so I don't know what my next topic is gonna be. Well, actually, I know what my next one is, but I'm not sure what, like, the topics after that are going to be. I'll probably still do a lot of videos about photography or related to photography or the medium or maybe even, like, filmmaking. I think that's what I originally meant to do with this channel was it was going to be all, like, photography and 
cinematography and things like that, which I honestly, I don't know very much about, but I want to do a channel on that because I wanted it to be a place where I could learn and then share what I was learning. So now I'm just putting on some powder. This is not a makeup channel. I'm probably most definitely not going to become a makeup channel because it's, I mean, I wear makeup, but it's definitely not something that I like know very much about. So I'm probably going to wrap it up because I don't know what else to say at this point other than I'll see you in the next video. And another thing I wanted to share was besides like perfectionism, I think fear is something that really holds me back. Definitely fear of failure. Putting videos on YouTube feels like risky because it's public failure, you know? Like not even that many people watch my channel. I don't, so it's not like I get a lot of attention. So even if I fail, like, what does that mean? Like nobody watches a video, so nobody watched it. Therefore, is it, how, why would I be embarrassed if nobody watches it? Cause there's nothing to see. I don't know. So when I say that fear holds me back, I'm not even sure what I mean, but I would say fear of failure definitely, like I know it gets in the way, but I can't fully explain it. Like I, I don't think I'm alone in saying this. I think that's a very common fear in life and on YouTube as well. Yeah, if you're watching this trying to pick up like makeup tips, seriously, no, I, I don't know what I'm doing with makeup. I just kind of keep putting it on till I like what I've created. There are way more, way, way more talented people doing makeup tutorials on YouTube. But like I said, I'm not gonna limit myself to specific topics. I'm gonna have fun with it and experiment. So if you are a returning viewer and you are specifically here for the photography, just be, I've let you know now, like, I'm probably not going to stick with just photography. Hopefully whatever I post, you'll still enjoy. If not, I mean, then that, that's just, I just have to accept that risk. I have to accept that not everybody is going to like what I put out in it now, but considering I haven't done a video in two years, I don't think it's going to matter, honestly. I don't think people are waiting for me to drop new videos, so I probably don't need to worry. So. I will insert my current YouTube analytics, both the subscriber count and my YouTube watch hours. As of right now, like I said, they're at 452 subscribers and 1,281 watch hours. It might be a few more now because that's the number I got. I pulled that number the other day, so the hours might be a little different, but that's basically it. It's not going to change much. With that, thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see the next one. Bye.